another day of bathroom reno extreme bathroom makeover basically so today i'll be working on the walls and the ceiling and let me take you guys in the bathroom and show you what i've already done so i went through and peeled off any loose wall covering and removed all of like the hardware and um wall anchors these over here i actually just pushed them in i saw somebody do that and so now i'm gonna go through and sand the walls down any like super high points um how fresh and clean that looks love it um yeah sand down any high points and then on the areas where the brown paper is visible i was watching this video yesterday and they said those areas need to be sealed or like they're gonna cause future bubbles so found this at um my parents house this is not exactly what he used but it seems basically the same thing so um that's what i'm gonna use so i've gone through and sanded the walls as much as possible like this wall isn't that bad we do have a patch here that i put that primer sealer on as well as around the door we're gonna add the trim back so i'm not like too worried about that right there and then over here like you can see it still look quite raggedy but i tried to pull up as many of like the bubbles as possible this is where most of the work is going to be and then there was also like a bubble around the window seal here that's still it so now i'm going to use the joint compound i got the lightweight i got this ultra lightweight one it says to try it without water first i've seen people like mix it with water so it's easy to spread it on so i'm going to try that if it it's too thick then I'm going to add a little water to it so it just smooths on easily we're just doing a very light skim coat wall and then I started doing the ceiling using what was left over so that's like the watered down um one I'm gonna try with just like straight out the tub because I'm ready to go <laughs> so I'm gonna try just straight out the tub and then see if that works if not then I'll come back and let you guys know if I had to water it down and with the ceiling like since um i'm covering up the popcorn then i'm not necessarily trying to get it as smooth as i was trying to get the walls and i realized i'm gonna have to do a second coat anyway so i can do better next time <laughs> if you don't do well the first time then you can do better the second <laughs> Wow, that looks better on oh, a 
way better on camera in person <laughs> there are tons of imperfections but for a first coat that's not bad i think a second coat and sanding it will be good hi guys welcome back to another day i've already been here a couple hours at this point but i was trying to figure out what i was doing so i'm like there's no point in me coming on camera just yet but let me show you what i've done look at us we got some baseboards and sawdust in our mouths so i have made some mistakes i have fixed some mistakes But we're on the last um, wall that we're doing today. As you can see, these still haven't been patched. And I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, but I'm going to wait on that. So I'm really just doing the molding, the baseboards on the walls that I can. So I'm going to do this measure and cut this piece. And I'll show you some of my new toys. I got a brand nailer. And my dad bought a miter saw and I also got a, um, what is it called? A table saw. <gasps> okay. Um, so now I just need a workshop for all my toys. I'm so excited. So this miter saw only goes to one side from what I can tell. Um, so like you really have to think about make sure to make sure you're cutting the corners right. So I need my corner to look like this. Therefore, yes, we're on the right side. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm nervous, y'all. Cause I'm on camera, even though I've done this so many times. Boom. Yeah. Bow, just like that. I feel so powerful with power tools. Okay, let's go see if it fits. Not the prettiest, but what else in here right now is, except for the floors. I'll be back once I put up this last baseboard and am ready to start cutting or putting up the top. Wow, I look crazy. This, it doesn't even matter.
my breath because I was having a NJ jam session, which I will continue. So finish this wall. Now it's time to patch. So I'll be using this drywall spackle. Is it drywall spackle or is it just spackle? It's spackle. But when I was looking in the store, because they have wood filler and they have spackle, of course, but it basically does the same thing for this purpose. And I'll get much more use out of this than I would the wood filler because my last wood filler just dried up on me. So all of these seams, can you see that? No, you can't. So all of these seams between the top and the bottom, as well as where I had to join pieces, do not look too close at this one because Again, they weren't perfectly straight, but once I put this on the wall, I wasn't taking it off. So we were patching these seams and then um, also the knots in the wood, the baseboard wood. Or while that is drying, honestly, then I think I'm going to put up this light or build this medicine cabinet box. Haven't decided which one and then after that dries we'll come back and sand caulk and prime i got to be strong so if i didn't say it before i patched the nail holes and the seams where i want it to look like one piece of wood i did not do it at the bottom i'll be caulking those and if you don't know the way I decide spackle or like wood filler is if you want it to look like one piece of wood and then caulk is like when you're joining two different types of materials usually on like an angle. So that's a 90 degree angle. So I'll be using it there. The bottom seams and then like also like of course like around the tub and things like that. And that's more for water sealing, but then also like around the window seal there so i'm just gonna let all of it dry like you'll see like here some of these are already dry um but i'm just gonna wait till like it all dry so i can just sand like a mad woman okay jam session continues he said just because you're reading in a magazine and see it on the tv screen don't make it factual actual <laughs> Okay, so I'm it's on the light. I took off the old light already. You can see there's no like actual junction box. The light's been working thus far, so we're gonna keep with what we have. So we have our ground line and our neutral and our hot, I think that's what it's called. So this ground line has to attach to here. I just put one screw in here. I'm about to level this and add another screw here because our light fixture down there mounts top to bottom and i'm just gonna hook it all up put y'all on the tripod see if it works wow we're an electrician okay we did it we did it we did it we did it, we did it. ignore the um the silver screw at the bottom for some reason i couldn't get it lined up with the little the little plate thing but it's up and i forgot to record but it's literally matched the color of the wire like it's really simple it's not as hard as people say it is okay now to a whole bunch of sanding yay <laughs> okay last project of the day caulking all of the other scenes so i just got this Paintable silicone supreme, 100% waterproof. I got it with the intention just for the tub. I wasn't really thinking about everything else, but hopefully this one tube is enough for everything. So I'm just gonna go along all of these seams here and along the bottom where the wall meets the baseboards. This gets started. And I have a semi-damp rag to like smooth out the lines. I'm like not the best at this. I'm 
just gonna dampen my finger a little bit and then just smooth it out wow it looks so much better already it's just like all of these steps are like so minor but really make a big difference in the end okay so i'm gonna do this so i can hear him get out of here okay the caulking is done so i don't even know if you can tell but like here there's caulk around there but like over here i didn't caulk so i got tired so i did all along the baseboard because it was like a big gap in some places and all around the window seal because again there were gaps but along the sides of each bed like here then i didn't do every single one because it's pretty flush to the wall so after i prime it i'm going to decide if i need to do it again but or go back and do it 